Hi there. So if you are feeling lonely and alone, this video is for you. I'm doing this series um, uh, to really address and get guidance and comfort from spirit um, uh, as we move through grief. Uh, their grief is very a very complicated process at times, um, and it's not linear. We don't move through these stages. We move kind of in, sort of weaves in and out of us. Uh, so I know some people are struggling with feeling very trapped and overwhelmed with all of the closeness, right? And some people are, like me, I live alone, are feeling very, like, lonely. Um... Maybe even, um, you may be even feeling alone while you're surrounded by others, feeling that you've been abandoned um, by God. There are many different ways to feel alone um, or lonely. Um, and if, if that is something that you're currently struggling with, um, I'd like to offer or see what kind of guidance and comfort we can get from spirit. Oh, okay. It's an interesting card. <sighs> huh. You know, usually this is a card of celebration. Um, I see this card um, as 1111. It's kind of a doorway and a portal. Okay, and we've got the male figure in blue and the female figure in red. So a balancing out of the energy, right? Even a balancing out of the colors that would kind of traditionally go with each of their masculine, feminine energy. Um, and so I, I really feel that, yeah, so in here we see a celebration. There's a, it looks like a wedding, right? Um, a party, uh, lots of people, um, dancing, uh, community. I mean, you know the people are around and they're celebrating. Whereas here at the bottom of the deck, you know, she's independent uh, energy completely uh, trusting in her ability to create and uh, manifest whatever it is that she wants to. Um, she feels abundant and trusting. Um, and all the Venus energy is all over her cloak here. So love, wealth. Um, she also is between you know, two trees, which again, it's like she's in between, kind of like this is a doorway. So I think it's like, you know, for those people who are feeling alone, um, this is an existential issue. Um, we're watching at times people having to even pass on um, and die alone in many ways, which we're just so uncomfortable with being alone many times or that there's a fear maybe of being alone. And I think when we can wrestle and grapple with being alone and maybe even be coming more in relationship with God or spirit, we're even better in relationship. You know, so this may be a time for you to reflect and express gratitude for the times when you have been with people and in relationship, uh, but also to look at the relationship that you have with yourself and with between yourself and, you know, God, spirit, your higher, higher wiser self. 
Uh, what does it mean to be alone? It could be a time for you to visualize the joy and the, the happiness of being with others and being in community, that that's so important. You know, many of us uh, are loners or tend to isolate and don't always appreciate the people around us when, when they're around. And so this is really, I think, a time to be balanced, to, to balance out the very existential uh, piece of being in relationship versus being you know, alone. Um, and so you might want to take some time to reflect on your relationship with that. Write down, you know, your gratitudes or, you know, when you're able to be with others, what that relationship, those relationships are going to look like. Are you going to be able to create stable um, relationships because you have like a true sense of trust and faith and independence and in being with yourself and alone with spirit? You know, I don't know. Let's see how this um, plays out here. Feeling alone. And again, because I see, you know, like the 11, 11, it's, it's very karmic. It's intentional. It could be that your soul, you know, chose this time to be alone. Uh, you might reflect over your life, like about this theme and this notion of being alone. Like, where are you um, with that? How far have you come through that? Fear. What about the fear of being vulnerable and being in relationship? Does that make you run from others and build walls around yourself? I don't know. Let's see. So what do we need to do if we are feeling and struggling with being alone or loneliness? What is it that we need to do? <laughs> okay. Another five. So we've got the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Okay. It's all about sort of like our religious practices, dogmas, teachings, um, the structures that we've put in place in order to help us to move through um, troubling times, if you will, to make sense of the things that we don't have control over um okay so that's at the bottom of the deck so there yeah all right and then so i said what do we need to do we got the fool card this energy is an energy that doesn't know what it doesn't know. It acts in the moment. Um, it, this may be saying to you that um, in this space, you are free to just do, do whatever you want with your alone time. Get in touch with what makes you feel boundless and of course it's hard because we're all asked to stay in shelter um we can't really leave but 
what better way to figure out, you know, who you are? Are you blasting the music? Are you dancing? Are you crafting? Are you um, meditating? Are you happiest when you're reading? Are you happiest when you're talking on the phone? Like, who are you? Can you sit in silence? This is a, an energy that's just absolutely potential. It's like before the word. It's impulse, it's spontaneity. It's pure, it's innocent. It's got the white rose, the white sun, the white dog, little spirit animal, little soul traveler with him. Or her, an androgynous being, I don't know. Um, zero. It's not even a one, it's absolute potential. And maybe, you know, it's about <sighs> once again connecting with your own relationship. And spiritual practice. Um And faith with no intermediary, you know, like a no need for the structure and the temple and the the big community to have a relationship that is full and whole and complete between you and spirit. <clears throat> okay. So Let's see what else comes out here. What is the potential outcome here? Live in the moment, spontaneously, trusting. Gosh, you know, he, 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 anything that he needs is in that little tiny sack, right, over his shoulder. How beautiful is that in many ways, right? You can do what you want. Go where you want. like a turtle with the shell on his back. Got everything I need right here. Okay. So bottom of the deck is Ace of Wands. A whole new passion, a whole new um, um, opportunity, inspired opportunity op uh, for growth, um, uh, passion, um, okay, and we've got a two here, two of pentacles. So potential outcome here may be that in learning to be alone and embrace it and learn to dance with it, um, learn to even appreciate the lightness of it. Um, the outcome might be that when 
an opportunity, a new opportunity presents itself, and it will, because it's sitting right here, um, that you may feel so much more able to balance, um, you know, yourself, your alone time with your relationship time. I mean, so you know, there's so much codependency and get people getting in relationships that are so unhealthy because they're just so afraid of being alone. Um, or they become clingy or needy or, or what have you. I've been there myself. I, it's who I counsel. I just, I know this, like I know this, like I know this. And I've um, really had to grow in this way. Um, it's been much of my own work. And uh, so it's like, you'll be able to balance, you know, juggle the two, the two needs the need for relationship with the need for independence and become potentially to have that opportunity for a new relationship. Opportunity for something, maybe to feel that sense of independence and strength and wisdom. Um, Yeah, that's priceless. Staying balanced. Okay. I feel like this is about growing. Lizard spirit, dream the world into being. 38, which is a limber 11. Okay, lizard spirit. From Colette Baron reads the spirit animal oracle. Occurred. When was the last time you basked in the sun and allowed yourself to daydream, to imagine what might be and who you might become? Lizard spirit appears when you are called to let your imagination flow and dream something new. Inspiration is available to you now if you are willing to slow down and let your eyes close a little, allowing ideas to dance in your head. What might come into being if you were to pursue your dream? How might you grow and expand if you allowed yourself to dare to believe in the impossible, making it possible first in your dreaming mind and then in the world as you co-create with spirit? It's the potential. Before you even can dream, there's the potential to be able to dream and then to speak it into being and then to manifest it, right? Um, give, in, give in to the power of imagination and soon your dream will become clearer. The steps will reveal themselves and what was ephemeral will begin to coalesce into form. Dream it and be it. Spirit asks you to dare to dream big. Have you been allowing your imagination to run amok and dream up a nightmare that seems to have come true? Fear not, for whatever dreaming you did in the past can change today as you dream anew. Wake up from the perception that everything is wrong. Lizard spirit asks you to open your eyes and consciously dream a better dream. What would it look like to already have what you desire? If you want to dream of this, what would a healthy version of this be? How might it feel to work towards co-creating this new dream? And you will be given the opportunity as a reality in the world of the senses, drawing it out of the world of dreams and building it in the world of form. Trust in your ability to dream anew and honor it today. Lives in the moment, every moment, moment to moment. That's who this is. There is no no. There's no such thing as no in this. It's all yes.
Holy amethyst, divine alchemy. Again, move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Oh, we've got a theme here. This is from Keepers of the Light Oracle cards from Kyle Gray. Divine alchemy. Holy Amethyst is the twin flame of Archangel Zadkiel, the angel who helps us transmute negative experiences into love and learning. He is the keeper of the violet flame, which helps us release anything that is no longer serving us. Holy Amethyst also enables us to look over our past fears and challenges and draw wisdom and learning from them. Unlike Zadkiel, for many years she was not mentioned in spiritual texts. And I believe this was because her miraculous support wasn't needed on earth as it is now. To connect deeply with her light, hold her namesake, Crystal. If you can see this, this is a ginormous amethyst. Um, and I have a little amethyst. Can I not move these down here? Um, I have a little amethyst tree. You can probably find that online. You're feeling alone. This is this is a many people. This is their first like crystal, and it's you know related to the crown chakra and connecting to being able to connect to spirit. What's going on here with that? Uh, okay, I don't know what's happening. Um, hmm, okay. Leave that, and we're gonna get a postcard from Spirit. This is still going, yeah. Postcard from Spirit. So order an amethyst. Get you some jewelry. Or a little stone online. Get some oracle cards. Spend time meditating this way, setting an intention, asking for guidance, asking for help, and you will see you are not alone. It's a huge, huge part of, of my practice, learning to connect to my intuition and spirit, and you can't do that with everybody else all around you. Whoa, sorry. Well, that's a big mess. Okay, I gotta stop talking and focus. Ay, <laughs> <clears throat> okay one more message please for those who are feeling alone and lonely okay take this one Dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see so many moments of synchronicity when all the right people, the right place, the right opportunities, and the right time showed up without any of your help. Think back to how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up, but it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never, ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come, who will deliver them, when they will show up, and what they will do for you. All of that is our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it. Relax. If you only knew how much you were loved. Okay. And on the back with love. Okay, so you may feel that you are alone, but you are not. Spirit is with you. Connect to spirit. And honey, be you. Get to know you at a deeper level. Be kind to you. Be your own best friend. Have fun with yourself. Dance, sing. Do what brings you peace and joy. We need you here now, capable of being alone so that you can come into relationship. And we all need to know how to do this. It's 
a big existential issue for human beings. Okay, take care. Thank you for being here.